same starters for both teams. So we get you set. Johnson, Oxley, Dawson, Stewart, and Walker for Kentucky. A oh, good job by Moore that time, deflecting the ball, try to anticipate that pass. Didn't happen, but Kentucky's gonna have to get into their offense. They wanna go to Dawson. Gets it over to Johnson. Puts it on the floor, wants to reset. Now that's Walker, being watched by Moore. Gets a step, goes in, throws up a wild shot, battling for it as Dante Taylor into the hands. I'm Kentucky, but they were out of bounds in OB. Fortuitous bounce by the Panthers. We'll come up right out of the uh, locker room. That's what the Pitt Panthers need to do is pick up the intensity on the defensive end. Wasn't able to get a shot off. Trey Woodall has it left side, running motion offense. Donna slipped the screen. They don't go to it. Now Woodall, one-handed pass to Gibbs. Triple threat position, puts it on the floor. He's going to let it rip. Shot good. I think he wanted contact that time. Didn't get it and said, all right, I'll let it fly. Great job by Gibbs. Who ended the first half with two threes. Johnson has it right side. Oxley's going to put it on the floor. Good ball movement by Kentucky. They want to go low blocks. That's Dawson. And that was Dante. deflected. Now Dante Taylor again goes in there. And that time, layup shot score. Dawson just crushing the boards. Taylor being big underneath. That time, the ball just coming right to. Dawson. Gibbs has it right side. Senior guard. Being watched by Oxley. Tough matchup for him. Good pass to Moore. Back out to Taylor. They're going to reset. 15 to go on the shot clock. Pit up 44 35. Looks like they're going to do maybe a little isolation for Gibbs. Six to go on the shot clock. Gibbs, crossover dribble. Spins. Now it's stolen. Good job that time by Kentucky. Layup, shot. Score. That time, Brandon Johnson wide open. That time, good defense by Kentucky. It really was. And Gibbs tried to do a little too much with it. Never got in sync as a team on that possession. So the Panthers lead cut to seven. Woodall has it right side. Gibbs fighting through that screen. Oxley says, come on, he hit me. <laughs> Alzana gets it back to Gibbs. So top the key to Woodall, puts it on the floor, penetrates, good pass to Moore. He's gonna let it fly, it's a three ball, it's long. Look at Taylor battle for it underneath, but scrapping hands by Johnson, he stole it. Across his half court, looking to push. Crossover dribble on Woodall. Woodall does a nice job cutting him off, Zana. Deflection out of bounds. Against a scrappy team like this, you have to have a second and third effort because they're gonna keep coming. So the Panthers, back to their man-to-man. -man. Johnson gets it to Oxley. He needs some help. Gibbs on him. On the left side. Time to go on the shot clock. Walker. Put it on the floor. I think he took it out of Walker there. That's the fatigue I'm yeah. talking about. These guys are starting to wear down. Panthers have the size advantage. See if they can weigh down Kentucky. Asana has a right side. Now to Gibbs. I want to go low blocks to Taylor, who has a good left. Let's see if he uses it. He's going to try the right hook shot, man. Good. How about that move by the big fella, Curtis? Nice, solid move. Fake over the right shoulder, finish over the left. Off the backboard. We didn't see that last year. That's a good move by Dante. 46-37. Panthers up. Now Johnson's going to try and get by Woodall. Nice through the lane. Blocked by Taylor into the hands of Gibbs. He's looking to push. Gibbs penetrating with his right. Pull a pass left side of Woodall. Also defense too, Curtis. Couple blocks in this second half. Well, he owned the last two possessions on the defensive end as well as the offense. We talked about the great move over the left shoulder. Yeah, finish. Nice block as well. Such a force underneath. Low blocks, good pass underneath. Woodall to Taylor. That time it was just a layup drill. 48 to 37. And Dante Taylor starting to be involved offensively. When you talk about a layup drill, they actually called his number to, to join or for more information. Gibbs and Patterson have 28 of the combined 48 points for the Panthers. Starting to heat up is Ashton Gibbs. Oxley being double teamed. Now he dribbles back out. McFarland has it after key. He wants to reset. 12 to go on the shot clock. What's Kentucky Wrestling going to do? A little isolation. McFarland is fast. Puts it through his legs. Tries to get by Woodall. Penetrates. Left-handed layup. No, he passes it. Shot score to Stewart. Boy, that was a great move, great breakdown 
great individual play. <laughs> yeah, I think Stewart was in the right place at the right time. I thought he over-penetrated and hit Stewart, was able to finish a nice lead. John has it right side for the Pitt Panthers. I always say, never leave your feet to make a pass, but that time McFarland bailed out. And we've got a foul on number 32. Finishing over the right shoulder, he's a deuce inside, but he did a good job of working to get open as well. And you know this as well as anybody, sometimes good defense can lead to good offense and get a player going, and Dante with the big block got involved then offensively, which is good to see for the Panthers. Now Woodall has a top the key to Gibbs, right side, who's been hot of late. He's got 14 points. So let's go to Zana, he's gonna try 17 footer. How about the range from the big fella? He's got a nice touch. He gets on the board, 50 to 39, pit up. Zana trying to come out and hedge. Oxley penetrating, good pass in the corner. Long three-point shot off the mark, and Zana pulls it down. That was Johnson with the three ball. Here comes Woodall looking to push, has his head up. Zana slipped the screen, Woodall's gonna penetrate. Good pass underneath, Taylor missed the layup, Zana poked it. Shot, but it's good to see him attack the rim that way. He didn't go up soft, he tried to go hard, just kind of balk, just kind of uh, slipped out of his yeah. hands, but I thought he tacked the rim pretty good. Oh, bad pass out of the inbounds. Here comes McFarland, one-on-one -on -one with goes in. Right-handed layup, shot no good, but he will shoot two. And I tell you what, McFarland, that was a pretty makeable layup. I thought he was going to have the three-point play, but I think he was in two. He's got six points. Four for four from the free throw line, and I might have bruised, it looked like. And in the last game against South Carolina, McFarland gets one of two, and the Pitt Panthers are up by 10. With Patterson, uh, Gibbs, of course, Woodall, and uh, Zana in the game, yeah. this is probably the better shooting perimeter team in terms of this unit on the floor at this time. Patterson facing the hedge, gets Gibbs curling right side, puts it on the floor. He's gonna put it back to Woodall. Good pass underneath. Zana had it, bobbled it, threw up a shot, no good. Battling for it underneath was Young, and he pulled it down. For Kentucky, they're looking to push. Comes McFarland. Feed that time by Woodall. Zana just, I don't think, was ready. A young pullback jump shot on the way, no good, and Zana pulls it down for the Pitt Panthers. Here comes Woodall looking to push with his left, now gets to the right. Ashton Gibbs, he's gonna put it on the floor. Oh, good crossover dribble, pulls back, jumper on the way home. Long two point shot. That's a big time move. So when you get him, when you caught him leaning, you just gotta pick your poison. Either you Try to get over and foul, or just step back and let him shoot the three. I hope he missed. He didn't miss. You've done that in your day, Curtis. Little pullback jumper. Uh, one or two. <laughs> McFarland. Really can be a disruptive force for the Pitt Panthers. That time it looked like Dante Taylor overplayed it. Young had the ball stripped it. He regains it. Oh, look at Gibbs steal it. Panthers have numbers if they want to run. Gibbs with his head up, goes through his legs. Hesitation. Baseline. Taylor, he's gonna pull up for a 15 footer, that's gonna be long. That's not the shot I don't think Jamie Dixon wanted by his big fella. There's McFarland, goes in, right-handed layup on the left side, he got fouled, and he will shoot it off. You're gonna foul him, right, foul him. If not, let him go. He's, good. he's got seven points though. Second free throw attempt is good, he kind of shakes his head. Jump shot in the corner, ill-advised I might add. And I think Jamie Dixon too, still trying to find that right combination, that right substitution package. As his team gets set, for the regular season open on Friday. 52-41, the Panthers up. Cam Wright has it right side. Now Patterson has it, top of the key. And back to right, he wants to say, let's get some motion offense here. He's gonna put it on the floor, penetrates with the left, pulls it back. Out of Patterson, eight to go on the shot clock. Big pick by Gilbert. Patterson, fadeaway jump shot, it's down from the left side. He's got 16 points, and the Panthers are back up 54 to 41. Attacking McFarland, and it's blocked by Gilbert. McFarland slow to get up. The Panthers have numbers five on four. Oh, good steal by Johnson that time. And McFarland, who was playing injured, dunks it. Good hands by Johnson. Well, you won't see that very often. Gibbs was just careless with the back. That point yeah. is going to contribute right away. And obviously, with Ashton Gibbs and Patterson starting to play as well as he is, and you know I love J.J. Moore as well. Absolutely. Fantastic athlete. And Panthers have some problems there as Woodall's gonna penetrate. He needs some help. Just flings it over left side. Patterson, he's gonna go strong layup shot and one. I don't know how that ball got down, Curtis, but hey, Lamar Patterson's been a force offensively. Put a little English for three. 
P-I-T-T, or log into PittsburghPanthers.com slash tickets for more info. As Patterson finishes the three-point play the old-fashioned way, knocks down the free throw. Oh, Patterson with 19 points in this game. Oh, Trey Woodall, nine assists. Young's going to launch a long 17-footer. Cam Wright, high for that rebound. Woodall pushing, right, left side, penetrate, knifing, right side, 17-footer, Woodall, long. Look at Birch extend those hands. Battling for it is Patterson, goes in, left-handed layup. Gilbert tip, no good, out of bounds. Squeeze that last rebound, but all five guys are attacking the rim. And you saw Gilbert the length, Birch the length, and Curtis, there's just some serious athletes for the Panthers, and they're all young. And that's what you like there, McFarland splits the double team. Body travel, layup shot, score. We'll give it to him. That was nice a nice move. move. Nice nice move. move. Switch gears on him. No doubt about it, he's got 12 points. And Pitts now, their lead is 12. Wright's gonna penetrate the lane. Throws up a shot on the way, no good. Oh, and the slam by Birch! Hello! <laughs> Makes it look so easy. Nobody matches up on Young. He launches a three-point shot. You want to talk about an answer? What happened there, Curtis? He's a step back by Young. Panthers fell asleep defensively there. It's a nice touch from outside, Young is. Young does from, uh, particularly to be a yeah. big guy. And he's not the quickest guy, but he has great moves around the bucket. And as you mentioned, great job shooting as Woodall goes hard. You like the nine assists. Well, you know, if you're going to play that position, I mean, that's where you want to. So Woodall misses the first free throw attempt, second free throw attempt, in and out. Oh, look at that. Tip by Zana that time with the left. 61 48. Hit is up. So we approach the 10 minute mark in the second half. Bounce pass and wait. Young, little fadeaway shot on the way, no good. And Patterson pulls it down. He's been active all game long. Hit wants to push. Woodall. Patterson. Back to Woodall. It's a pick from Zana. Now back to Patterson. Good pass underneath the right. Reverse layup. Shot score. How about that ball? Very nice pass and even better finish. Absolutely. It's Zana again. Just battling for it underneath after the missed free throw. Taylor and, and uh, Zana in the game. Yeah. It's a great luxury to be able to go double double back to back like that. Well, Lamar Patterson's feeling it, folks. I mean, he's putting on a little bit of a clinic here. In rhythm, 19 points. And Pitts now up 65, 48. I think Patterson removed any doubts about where that uh, secondary scoring is going to come from. He continues to shoot the basketball the way he is tonight. At least right now, two on one developing Woodall. Right side on the way. Shot no good on the layup. But Patterson. All over, down at the offensive end, and he's the one that committed the foul off. Lamar Patterson, looking for his 22nd point. He gets it to go, 66, 48, pit up, 9.15 to go, second half. Roger with us. And Young has it left side, he's gonna put it on the floor. McFarland, he's gonna launch a three-point shot, he's gonna be off left, and right, just fly to that ball, comes in and hands his honor. Pushing it is Woodall. Dribbles back out. A little reset with 25 to go on the shot clock. Underneath the Zana. He faces up, wants to go hard, and is fast. Create that contact. See if he can finish. He missed the front of the two block shots. I think that's what you want as a coaching staff. And then the offense will come as you can start to feel comfortable with your body. Right, and I think it's starting to come for, for Zana. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, look at his body from a year ago. I mean, Jamie right. Dixon obviously does a great job with their weightlifting program, but, you know, Zana's really filled out. And uh, from an offensive standpoint, it's starting to play a lot better. Zana trying to muscle his way in. I want to go back to him, but good defense that time by Zana being physical. 7.48, pit up, Johnson's gonna reset, 12 to go on the shot clock. He's gonna try and break Woodall down. Good hedge by Taylor. Skip pass left side. Dante Taylor got lost. Young three-point shot, rattles home. Dante, he knew what he wanted to do, but he just, he lost track of where his man was. Yeah, the other thing is he's not accustomed to playing a big on the yeah. perimeter like that that has that kind of touch. Young can straight up stick it. No doubt about it. And Young right now has 11 points. Woodall lost the ball. Young won an outlet pass to Walker. Panthers got back in time. 7.52 to go. Second half. Here comes Young. 
going to fade away, 17-footer, can't get it to go, and Wright pulls it down. Panthers looking to push. I don't know if they have numbers, but they're going to push anyway. Patterson has it left side, skip pass to Woodall, wide open, pump fake, pulls back, Patterson, pump fake again.